Welcome back to Thief 2. Good lord. I have been <laughs> neglecting this for such a long time, but not because I didn't want to continue. It's just, you know, there's so much other stuff that gets in the way, especially when you're a father since a year, and sometimes you just don't even find half an hour to play Thief properly, especially with all the other projects as well. But here we are. I finally want to continue this amazing game. And um, <coughs> the, uh, the next level, we the next mission we have to play is Kidnap. Of course, I'm playing on Expert. You've come a long way to find Brother Cavador. Find and kidnap Brother Cavador and take him with you when you escape. Remember, I know it's been a while, but <coughs> last time I played Thief 2, we were trying to kidnap Brother Cavador to find out more about the Cetus Amicus project, and we found out that the Cetus Amicus is actually a submarine <coughs> that the mechanists were building to go back and forth between a certain place, amongst other things. And yeah, we still want to find Brother Cavador and um, kidnap him so the um, pageants can question him about what exactly Karras is trying to do. Obviously, Kevador can't answer any questions if he's dead. Yeah, you don't say. Don't let anything permanent happen to him. So, I guess we can knock him out. Just nothing permanent. Just what is Karras thinking? Since this is a mechanist installation, there should be some scripture lying around. Find it and read it. Violence is the mark of amateurs and mechanists. You're neither. Don't kill anyone during explorations. Sure thing. Okay. So... Remember, last time, we went aboard the submarine, the Cetus Amicus, and, <clears throat> yeah, just snuck, smuggled on board as, like, a, a blind passenger to see where they're actually um, going with it, because um, when we were investigating the, the, the island with the lighthouse, turned out that Car Carador wasn't even there, and he was here, this secret site. What is it? I'm back in the lost city. I should have known. Oh dear. Guess I'll take the back door home. Okay. So this is no, where my friend. it leaves. I fear this cannot wait to leave me. Then you must seek out Brother Cavador, for he alone can aid you. No other here hath his understanding of the ancient ways. I pray thee, tell me where I might find the good brother then? At his house? Mayhap, though I think it unlikely. More likely he doth his daily work tours now. What? Must I wonder fallen careth din till I find brother Cavador then? <laughs> Nay, I think that not necessary. Seekest thou within? There thou shalt surely find a scroll with his intended path writ upon it. He hath the faithfulness of a child of Karis for the following of such schedules. Ah, many thanks. May thy gears run smoothly. <laughs> and thine. Okay. Just, uh, if you don't remember, the zoom function I just used is not a cheat. It's actually what, what um, Garrett can do, since he got one of his eyes, uh, well, taken away by by the the trickster, and then later replaced with a hammer, um, uh, well, what's the word? Technology. So, um, if you, maybe you remember this place, maybe you don't. It's basically in the first Thief game, there was um, the Lost City, which we had to enter to find a talisman, and, well, this is that Lost City, but as you can see, the Hammerites, uh, the Mechanists, <laughs> have invaded this place to do whatever they're doing here, and have also taken over some of the buildings, as you can see, with the, like the standard of the Mechanists over there. Let's see, as far as I 
it wasn't entirely possible to 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 follow that uh, well, I wasn't entirely able to follow that conversation from the start but as far as I understood um, what I can take away from it is that the scripture that I'm supposed to read another sample of is somewhere in here oh no they even have the machines in here oh jeez they brought lights with them I also remember that this building in particular had like um, automatic light that would turn on if you enter certain rooms let's see if that's still the case as well oh shit um, maybe I shouldn't take like the front entrance It kind of looked like I should, you know, with the possibility to sneak up here through the shadows and all. But now what? I mean, I don't, see, I don't see anything up there. But also, I. Let's see, let's take another look. Oh, wait. What's that? Uh, okay, that seems like an odd mistake. Attention, those seeking Brother Cavador must not disturb other workers. Tis inefficient and causes the loss of much work. Request instead is scheduled from the camp steward and check the green lights, for they are lit when the brother is present or was recently so. Shouldst thou find that all the lights are lit, then tis too late in the day and Brother Cavador hath retired to his rooms. Okay, so we need to, like, check for green lights or check if all the lights are lit something like that oh. where is it going oh shit it's coming To as the shaft to the gear, as the shaft to the gear, turn me master builder. <laughs> as the gear to the cog, show me the way. As the coal to the furnace, I burn for thee. Let the builder return. Builder, see what we have done in thy name. Yeah, okay. If you think the builder is going to return, keep thinking. That. Oh no! 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 It's pretty cool that I can use these with the rooms here. Oh, this might be my <coughs> chance. Maybe not. I just one was wondering like how would they even come up with the idea to to actually start living here? I mean then again it makes sense if they like want to build a base of operations here. But they even brought like nice tables and carpets. Hmm. Wonder if it's cozy to sleep in here or rather unsettling. Anything it's probably cold. Is that thee? Nice. Okay. I mean it. This lost city is deep underground. Although... Then again, if you remember the lost city from the first game, you might also remember... Oh shit. That there was a lot of um, lava. So maybe it's not actually that cold here. I was just thinking because like old stone structure 
probably gonna be cold, but I'm not even that sure about that. Anyway, what am I talking about? <coughs> One down. Mm, I first want to go over there. Scouting orb. That's nice. Some oh, some money and or some loot. Not exactly some money. Some loot that Garrett can later turn into money. Flash mine. And a flare. I may have mentioned this before several times, probably whenever I start speaking about the atmosphere in general. But you know, um one thing that I find particularly atmospheric always is uh, smell. I think I've mentioned that before, actually. I'm not sure, but whatever. I'm just gonna mention it again. Um, oh, nice. Like, the smell of certain places always adds a lot to their atmosphere. Like, if you go to a forest... Um, these are the annoying lights I was talking about. Um, if you go into a forest, or, or maybe you're outside after it rained, or anything like that, Things with um, an intense smell in the air attached to them. It's always something that I find um, very atmospheric and like, you know. Oh shit. So, uh, what I was about to, to get at is that's something I always like to do when I play um, immersive games like this one. That I actually. Not, not all the time and constantly and uh, consciously, but like sometimes I'm in a certain room or area and I just try to imagine what it would be like to stand there in terms of like what it would smell like. Probably a lot like stone in here, damp, maybe. Oh, nice. I don't know, I just like thinking about atmospheric stuff like that when playing games like this. Oh, what's that? Like when I'm uh, when I'm playing a, a a mission that actually takes place in the city, I like to imagine <coughs> I can smell the the fresh night air, something like that. This one should be okay. As long as it doesn't call his friends. Good lord. As you can see, it's been a while I played the game, and it shows. <coughs> okay, that should make it a bit darker in here. Anyone up there? No. Let's see what this is. Attention! <coughs> oh, it's the same thing again. But now I can take it with me. Well, that's cool. Noise maker arrow. Huh, but that's not what I what I wanted. I'm looking for a piece of the scripture. Is there somebody there? Isn't there? Nice. That's good.
good. I can use that. Put this. Oh no, no, no. Okay. Interesting room. Again, what would this room smell like? Probably a lot more like cloth. So w with the bed and the carpets and all. Maybe even some wood mixed in between the, the stone smell. But why is... Why is there wood in the first place? I mean, they're mechanists. I would have expected them to have, like, metal lockers and stuff. Then again... It could make sense because they're bringing all their stuff here with the submarine. So it might be, well, easier to transport wood than metal with a submarine. In in this universe, I mean, with a, with their steampunk technology, I, I wouldn't expect the submarine to be like super advanced like submarines that we have. It's probably almost a miracle. It's it's working at all. But yeah. But I would imagine that you could put a lot of a lot more wood onto that submarine than heavy metal. Can I get up here? Oh, okay. It just it just leads to to this. I'm still hearing this. Hello. Reveal thyself. I'm not here. Goodbye. I'm still looking for that. Scripture, though. Oh, what's that? KD sign. I don't even know what that does, but I'm gonna let it turned on like that. KD sign. Hmm. Stuart, shouldst thou have need of me? Follow this route, and surely thou shalt find me. Disturb me not, unless thy matters are of the greatest import. Side one. Uh, six one two three four eight seven, brother Cavador. <coughs> okay. Ah, knowing where Cavador is, that's half the battle. True. So. Okay, so that's useful. I'm glad we can actually take that with us. And what is this? Oh, it's like a map. So, I suppose we came from here and we are in this. 2KD side. So, probably the lever I just um, used is probably going to open some kind of gate here. Because it said KD side. Whatever KD side means. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm still confused about the scripture thing because it it definitely sounded to me like there was one somewhere here. I'm gonna have another look upstairs. First of all, I want to knock out this guard. don't know her route. Oh shit. That's not good. Okay. Perfect. Nice. Good night. Well. That probably wasn't comfortable, but... Well. It's not like she was awake to to feel it. She's gonna feel it when she wakes up. Um. Anyway. Okay. I'm gonna look around some more now. That I don't have somebody walking <coughs> walking around all the time. Oh, look at that. That looks special, doesn't it?
A rope arrow. Okay. I'll take that. Jeez, everything's locked. Come on, Garrett. You can do it. There better be something good in here. Well, I mean, it's it's okay. And gas arrow is actually quite useful. It's not really a reason to sigh. Well, I was just hoping for the fucking uh, scripture. Like, come on, man. Where is it? If not here. And not here. Jeez, I was pretty certain that this would lead to it. I mean, it looks like a special door and all. I'm not missing anything in here, am I now? Pretty easy room. I will leave for now. If the scripture really is in here, I'll just have to take another look when I did everything else. I mean, you know, this room really looks like it could have it as well, but I don't see anything here. Can have one last look here. But nah. Nothing really, no. Still interesting place, I mean not complaining. I liked looking around here. But if there's a scripture in here, I don't know, somebody has to tell me. You know, I'll have to take another look later. Maybe, you know, what they might have been talking about was not actually this temple of, of Kara's scripture, but they might have been talking about this. You know, just came to my mind, they might have been talking about this, and I was an idiot for looking around any longer. Well, not exactly an idiot, I mean, I examined the rest of the rooms, so that was uh, interesting, at least in my opinion. Um, but yeah, that's that's probably what they were talking about, jeez. <coughs> and this, yeah, this has to be whatever... Um, yeah, this has to be the, the, the thing I opened with the, with the lever in that one room that said KD site. Restricted area for access, make requests to the camp steward. Or be Garrett and just sneak inside after using the lever that is not secured at all. Well, I mean, it was guarded, I just knocked out everybody and this... Uh, engage the the robot. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Is this doable? It is, but <laughs> it's also pointless. Yay. Um Okay. I'd like to get back to the whole smell thing some more because I find that interesting here. I just, um, is there a better word for that? Because when I say smell in English, I always think of like bad smell, but that's not what I mean. I just mean the, the what the air smells like. I guess I can't say it any better than that. Um, but, oh shit. Any luck on thy hunting, friend? Nay, not a single beast. Good riddance then. Noxious things. 
'Twill be a better world, more worthy of the Master Builder's work, when not a single stinking Burrick remains to plague it. I could agree to that. Certes, save I think that time is now. And yet, still we patrol, lest a Burrick's ghost should disturb poor brother Cavador. <laughs> Why, he still wears his mask, as though he might be attacked at any minute. Nay, speak not harshly of our brother and leader, for does he not speak with Karas' own voice? Bereft of his leadership, we should be rudderless. It is only right and proper that he should guard himself most carefully. May the Master Builder forgive my quick words. Thy words are true. I shall not let these dull caves weaken my faith, nor turn me from my duty. Okay, I guess that you can take that as another hint that uh, we can find Cavador when, like, we if we, we have to look for somebody who's wearing a mask is basically what that uh, was trying to tell us. What I was about to say with smell again is um, heat can have a certain smell as well. So this room would probably also be very interesting in terms of um, yeah the atmosphere that you can take in with your nose. Guess things have changed a bit. That sounded even weirder than just saying smell. <laughs> and yeah, things have changed a bit. I don't know if you recognize this at all because it's been a while, but this was in the original mission, kind of, but it didn't look like this. Everything is super bright here. Come on. I'm trying to find a place to hide because it sounds like they're coming back soon. Oops. Well, let's take the time to look at the papyrus, pap papyrus, papyrus, pap papyrus, papyrus, <laughs> how do you say that in English? I mean, it's it's papyrus in German. I, th I suppose it's also papyrus in English, something like that. Site 6. Okay, so just straight forward. I don't hear anybody anymore. Let's make a run for it. <coughs> Actually... Oh. I was thinking I could go up here, which I can, but... I was also... Oh, I was also thinking I could then continue up there, which I cannot. Can knock this guy out. One guy less is always a good thing. It's coming this way, that's not good. Okay, good. I'm gonna take my time and bring you this way. Because at least I know that nobody seems to be... I mean, I don't know, but I seem pretty certain that nobody is patrolling this particular area. So if I just throw him there, don't think anybody's gonna care. Man, it feels good to be back here. No, not the mission, I mean, I mean the game. It feels good to be back in the thief engine world, whatever. It's nice. Not sure if my microphone is too loud or not loud enough for this. Because I, I had it set to a different setting than usual. Just a few days ago. Invisibility potion. I like that. And I tried to set it back to what I usually use, but I'm not entirely sure if, it, if it's correct. Oh, nice. These sounds, we also had these sounds when we went to the Lost City in the first game. I like that you can look into these even if some of them are not even accessible. Or are they? Look at that. It does look like it's access uh, accessible. Accessible, but how? Huh. Can I, like, go out of here? No. Maybe I can take this box? doesn't work. What about this? Oh. Oh, 
we're loose. Okay, now I'm. This is not where I want to go. I'm. But I'm gonna lose track of where I wanted to. Go. I just want to find out how to get in there. Definitely looks like you could somehow get up there. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's not supposed to be accessible. It's just supposed to look like. Is somebody coming? Huh? Somebody is coming. Is that thee? It is me. Whoever. Ah, all seems well enough now. Mm -hmm. You say that now, but just wait until your head hurts. Also, thanks for the healing potion. I didn't mean to fucking drink that, Jesus. Well, thanks for nothing in that case. Whatever. I will put you in here. I'm pretty sure nobody's going to find you here. So, yeah, let's let's uh, take another look at the signs here. Actually, site six is this way, so this actually is where I'm supposed to go. At least if I can trust the paper I found. This is side six. Okay. I think I'm also at half an hour right now. Oh, there's somebody standing there. If someone is there, halt! Surrender thy weapon. No, so that never happened. <laughs> uh, I just saved before that. Um, <clears throat> so this is where I'll stop for now. I hope that this is not like uh, like this is the new episode, and then it takes two billion years again for me to make the next one. I hope that's not going to happen. I'll try to find more time again for Thief. Um, just by making it 20 to 30 minutes episodes, um, that should make it more... well, should make it easier for me to, to make a few episodes again. Um, and yeah, so I hope somebody is actually still watching this because I'm a bit afraid that some people might have stopped looking for new Thief episodes because it took me so long. But if you are still watching, then yeah, thanks for that and hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.